Hello there, welcome to Granada Reports, live with the news here in the Northwest. Hello, very warm welcome on the programme this evening. Thank you, Ariana. The pop star who stood by the victims of the arena terror attack is made an honorary citizen of Manchester. For the family she helped, it's only right. If something bad would happen, she wouldn't get as scared, so she would come back to the, uh, that place would be. A new plan to help the homeless. Could it do more for less money? Swinton's improvement during last season looks as if it's going to continue. A century and a half of Northwest sporting history under threat. We report on the campaign to save the Lions. Why Cathy wants to be recognised as one of the fittest people on the planet. And I'm in Cheshire, ahead of the flower show that's celebrating young people in gardening. Is this deep enough? No, keep going. <sighs> so I'm not sure Adam's ever done any gardening before, but stay with us for that. <laughs> yeah, first, though, to that emotional meeting in Manchester, at which the city said a big thank you to pop star Ariana Grande. It was her concert that was targeted, of course, by a suicide bomber in May. And as the council leader put it today, you would understand that she never wanted to see this place again. Instead, as we know, she returned for that incredible One Love gig to raise millions for the families of those who died and for those who were injured. Well, today the council decided to make the American singer Manchester's first honorary citizen. And there wasn't a dry eye in the house, as our correspondent Rob Smith reports. The emotional anthem of Manchester's unity and defiance played in front of its great and good, played in honour of a singer who showed those qualities to the world. Ariana Grande brought the city together after the arena bombing, raising millions of pounds to help those affected. Today, Manchester's leaders voted to make her an honorary citizen. I'll now put to the motion to the vote. Uh, those in favour say aye. Aye. I believe that was unanimous. Away from the cameras, victims' families watch the vote go through. A tearful moment for those who made it happen. It's the first council meeting we've had since May the 22nd, and it was our chance to uh, show our respects for, our sympathy for the families of the people murdered. And how important to honour that young woman, that remarkable uh, young woman? Well, I think we ought to look at afresh at how we do honour people and make an exceptional contribution to the life of the city. I think we, it would have been understandable if uh, Ariana Grande had said she never wanted to come to Manchester again. Instead, she did the opposite. And went straight to her injured fans. One, Lily Harrison, says the star truly deserves her new honour. If she got scared, like, she wouldn't, like, give up on what she liked to do. And, like, like what I like so much about her is, is she, if something bad would happen, she wouldn't get as scared, so she would come back to the, where that place would be. The first responders who ran towards that place, the support workers offering counselling... Even those who had Manchester's symbol inked on to raise funds were all recognised alongside Ms Grande. One tattooist told civic leaders the B now stands for more than just the city. People wanted to give, but they didn't really know how to give. People wanted to be present in the city whilst everything was going on. Um, I think the appeal gave everybody an opportunity to give something and be part of something. Um, and it's also become a mark of respect all those people's lives have been tragically lost and affected. Music unified Mancunians today. In a city of so many homegrown and now honorary artists, it always will. <laughs> Rob Smith, ITV News. Yeah, very emotional day for the council. Uh, well, moving on tonight, plans to overhaul a system which some say fails some of our most vulnerable homeless people. 